Hey, how's it everybody? Uh, I know my hair's got me looking like hammered dog shit. I'm on my uh, my lunch break mid tog Essen for my uh, my Deutschland brothers and sisters. Of course, gotta represent. Uh, I am vaccinated, um, but still, I live in Texas. COVID's going crazy. This Delta variant, we've had a few scares. A couple people at my company have gotten it. Not too bad, but I'm fine. Me and my family, my Fano uh, for my Kiwi brothers out there. Uh, I'll drop the mask because I'm here in the car alone as we Americans do our videos from the car. Game three, Saturday morning, 11 a.m. local time here uh, if you're in the central part of the United States. So we're talking from Houston all the way up to old Chicago, Illinois. You can catch the game on the Peacock app here in the States. Uh, NBC, not a big fan of major networks, but it's what it's got. Gonna put a link under there to my friend Two Cents Rugby, Mark. He's a Kiwi, breaking down. I'm just gonna give an American's perspective on this final third test, British and Irish Lions, Springboks. First thing I gotta say, no Foff the Clerk. No Giant Slayer this weekend. Unfortunately, injured in the last game. Yeah, that, that worries me a bit. Um, no Dwayne Vermeulen. Look, I know he's injured. I get a lot of people, he's old, whatever. Man, they say you can't teach an old dog new tricks. A dude's solid at eight, man. Like, he's a beast. He's 35. He's a little bit younger than me, and he, he, he could still fuck some shit up on the pitch, man. Look at how the Bulls did this last year until the final of the, uh, the Rainbow Cup or the uh, Pro 14 or whatever they wanted to call it. That was pretty fun friggin' embarrassing in Italy. But we won't go too much into that. That was a totally different situation there. No Dwayne Vermeulen. So you kind of worry a bit about the spring box side. But then you see what Warren Gatlin brings out for his final team, final British and Irish Lions test. And it's not just the opinion of this YouTuber. It's the opinion unified. This is the weakest British and Irish Lions side that he's had this entire tour don't want to go too much into it. Obviously, the big guys are still there. Alan Wynn-Jones, Wynn-Jones, um, Bundy Aki coming in, which he's been hit or, hit or miss a bit. Uh, you know, he's been kind of questionable the way he plays. Um, obviously, with Alan Wynn-Jones, that means you've got to have the man himself, Eben Etzebeth, the scariest lock on the planet, in my opinion. Not the best, but just, I mean, he's damn good, but fuck, I would never want to get in a fight with that guy. Um, kind of an old conversation I had with Two Cents. Who would you like to see in an octagon fight? His pick was, uh, you know, loose forward or number eight, Akira Wani, all black, blues. My pick would be, that's a buff, man. Like, that guy looks like a fucking monster. Um, and uh, just a proper Afrikaner guy. Uh, you can find interviews with him, and he seems like he's a pretty chill dude off the pitch. But uh, I think somebody had, like, famously said, hey, did anybody ever tell you you look like the uh, Sasha Baron Cohen character Bruno? And he was like, that's a stupid question, with a very straight face. And it's like, yeah, that's the kind of guy we also saw last week, that first uh, little... Uh, extracurriculars there in the first like 30 seconds of the game when he like gets up in Allen when which you could go out and look for it you can find videos of him getting in everybody's face because that's what he does man I mean he's a, a monster of an Afrikaner man and um but should be a great game you like I said look it up you can look at it is the weakest lineup the British and Irish lines are sending but we're also going out there without what I think is the glue between the forwards and the backs Fuff the clerk you've got to have that guy he's world class we don't have him and it's it's a bit of a question I don't believe Quagga Smith is playing which dude you're good but you're not that damn good uh, you make a lot of bonehead mistakes out on the pitch Obviously, you still have Andre Pollard playing. Cheslin Colby, he's still going to be there. Willie LaRue, I think he got bit in the last game. Yeah, he's still he's still going to play uh, this coming weekend. And uh, it should be a cracker. It should be a good one. I don't expect a high-scoring game. Um, I haven't even looked at the breakdown. 
it's kind of weird that you can live overseas and you can get like this point spread here. It's like gambling's technically illegal uh, unless you're in like Las Vegas or you're at a casino or you're buying scratch off tickets at the gas station or buying a quick pick, but betting on sports. No, 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 no. You can't do that here in Texas, man. It's illegal. Or you could go to the horse track and bet on horses, or you can go to a greyhound track and bet on greyhounds. But I, I don't understand the gambling laws in this country. Uh, they're pretty hilarious at times. But um, yeah, so I don't know what the spread is. I bet it's not a very big one. I bet it's less than 10 point spread. Um, I, I'm going to give my prediction as an American who's into rugby, I'm American in quotations. Uh, I'm going to say final score, 29 23 spring bugs. We close it out, we get the victory, and then the real work begins. Uh, you know, British and Irish Lions was real work. But we're playing on the rugby championship. It means we get to play the All Blacks, which means you guys will probably see a video of me with a Springbok jersey and an All Blacks hat on, or a Springbok hat and an All Blacks jersey on, because I do support both teams. Uh, I have personal reasons for supporting the box obviously um, if you saw the back of my automobile yeah got the flag on the back got the za in the corner um yeah i am a proudly proudly a south african south african supporter and uh it's gonna be a great game check it out uh like i said uh, see if the local pub where you live here in the states maybe they'll put it on for you because peacock app they should have it because i've been showing the olympics on it see if they'll put it on order you some uh some chips and queso i'm gonna do the chips and queso with my kiddo i'm gonna make her get up and watch the game with me uh unfortunately usually with the peacock app we don't get the uh the starting lineups they just kind of go right into the game we don't get to hear the national anthem if they play the national anthem i make her get up and, and show her respect and uh speaking of respect the british and irish lines better show their respect but everybody check it out check out the link mark give him a follow this guy is uh cool kiwi dude uh or if you're looking for anybody else if there's any americans here hey let me find another guy to watch two cents rugby g-man gareth uh, mason i believe is his last name little dude little cool dude another like a south african guy doesn't doesn't do just videos about rugby he's a very positive guy his background story is really inspiring um a guy that wasn't really handed the handed the best hand in life by uh, by by whatever powers that be, and yet he still goes out and preserves and prevails and all that kind of stuff and perseveres through everything. Really good guy to follow. He'll probably do a live uh, broadcast of the game. Probably be having a few drinks, so you get to see a, a drunk South African guy. It's pretty pretty hilarious. I usually like turn it off at that point because I don't drink, so I don't really get down like that. If Mark's watching it get lucky he'll have maybe have Gaza in there with him his father who is like a legend like I love anything anytime he has Gaza coming on his videos you gotta watch because that guy is like the most blue collar kiwiest kiwi I've met a lot of kiwis in my life and his dad is like the most stereotypical kiwi guy like they're just very blue collar down to earth doesn't talk shit about doesn't like politics which is what i did like about new zealand is people don't really subscribe to that shit there um south africans it's a touchy subject but fuck politics watch the game saturday let's go box let's finish this out let's fucking close the book on this whole shit storm with uh, Warren Gatlin and co. I can't really talk shit about the guy as much as I want to because guess what? He coaches my favorite professional team, the Chiefs. Yes, I am a Chiefs fan, big time. Uh, Bull supporter in uh, Curry Cup, South Africa. Chiefs fan for that. Dallas Jackals fan, MLR, because we are in Jackals country here. But uh, yeah, cheers, everybody. Uh, have a good weekend. Go box. Spend time with your family and enjoy it. Bye, guys.